course we get Mech Mage, right? It's gonna be Mech Mage now. It's so stupid. It's so stupid how this matchmaking system works. Ugh. Chandy, thanks for the host. How's it going? I really appreciate it. Welcome all the Chandy Leers. How's your climb going? You're doing Murlocs, right? Oh my gosh, Chandy was streaming and I didn't realize by Will Thump. Yeah, thanks again for the host. Really appreciate it. Whoa, another host. Newberry, thanks for the host. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a uh, freeze mage and then I shouldn't be so salty about getting bad matchups all the time. Difficult? Are you playing Paladin? Are you playing Pally Murloc? Oh. Interesting. Acolyte with this. Um, I think I want to play Lotheb. Lotheb allows me to clear off this guy. Like, I can slam and clear off the water Ellie. You're hosting Journey today? Hello, Locke. Hey, Twigs. How's it going? Journey or Attorney? Yes, yeah, song requests are on. What is this from? This also sounds kind of familiar. Somehow. Reno Jackson. I imagine if you're playing Murloc, you're just playing Paladin, right? I think that's the strongest Murloc class at the moment. Shaman is basically overlooked by because of the Aggro Shaman. I guess Aggro Shaman just does a better job. So this is some kind of, um, what do you call it? Major Domo. It's Major Domo Mage. Should be interesting. So he, he can ping me uh, three times <laughs> next turn, if he wants to. I can't really kill this right now though. But yeah, he can, he can ping this three times and then like ping um, use the Acolyte to trade in here. If he hadn't made it into the lake, that'd be pretty insane. Ronkadone. Now you can ping this four times, four times, and this. I don't really have a good way to trade with this at the moment. It's uh, it's kind of a problem. Chandy didn't tweet her stream. No wonder I missed it. Oh, Chandy, gotta get on that. Never seen a major domo mage before. Only heard of them in the legends. Yeah. So basically, they use Caldera Drake. And, um, and then Major Domo, and then they can, they can, with Major in the Lake, they can Major Domo hero power many, many times. And that's one way for lethal. Brand Iron Dragonaut. It's not for this turn. I think I have to use Grom here. Like he can he can then again ping this three times if he wants to. And then we finish off we finish off the Caldera Drake with Barongadon, falling turn. Uh Lapras Orphimus, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Lockness Monsters. Wonder if this is dupe or not. Could be dupe, but then if he dupes, he overdraws. Effigy. 
Okay. That's tolerable. If he has, uh, I don't think this list will run Fireball. I don't know. Because they have to run Major Domo, they have to run Alex Straza. Bouncing Blades or Crush. And then we just use the expensive one here, which is Crush. Brawl first. Brawl first, hopefully you don't have to use BGH. And at this point, I don't think he's running Mirror Entity. So I think I'll drop Armor Smith then. This guy's name is making you hungry for sushi. Maguro. What kind of sushi is that? My left ear is really hurting. Hmm. Actually, it seems like a lot of one ofs, so I think it might be a Reno. It's a, like a Reno list as well. This is dealing 8 damage. Probably should kill this. Um, I guess we drop Brand too. Try to set up for Juggernaut Lethal. Or is that too much of a win condition that we need to save it? Uh, eight damage. Maybe we can afford to take eight damage for now. Let we'll me play the Shredder here. Because one way to lethal against Major Domo Mage is like once they start fatiguing, then you can uh, you can basically play the double, especially if he's in Ragnaros mode and he only has eight health, where at most he's gonna have fifteen because he has to Alex himself to set himself to fifteen. It's Red Tuna. Okay. Why the hell is it Harpy? It's from uh, East Portal. It's annoying to see multiple Savannas. Savannai. We still have a lot of removal though. We have Execute, we have Shield Slam. Bash, any of those would help remove the, the next Sylvanas that comes down. Gore Howl too. Essentially I think it's basically a, uh, a Reno Mage list, which for the Caldera Drake, I'm not sure if he runs Major Domo or not.
Okay. Might be dupe. Dupe or effigy. So I guess we probably want to kill this first. It's not actually true. This actually probably gives them more valuable uh, spells. I don't know. But then again, at least it's only like one health versus this guy or this girl. I don't know, but this is dealing this is dealing a lot of damage per turn. All right, let's just kill the harpy. Right. That is A-OK. -okay. Anyone know what Jessica does to Shadow Form? It doesn't do anything in Shadow Form. The Jessica only works for basic hero powers, as uh, Zakona has said, or has answered. So I'd like to pick up Emperor sometime soon. Ember's going to be pretty important for competing with this board. It's also just to enable enables to play this while still here powering. Like this is going to go into fatigue, right? So, and we're fatiguing first. Well, now we're now we're even on fatigue. We're half a turn ahead on fatigue. Hey, welcome back, Cold Dead Punk. If Jessica upgraded already, upgraded hero powers would be way too overpowered. Yeah, basically because you can keep like, say you bounce back Jessica, you can keep tanking up, and then tank up becomes eight, eight, uh, eight armor, sixteen armor. Yeah, that'd just be ridiculous. Um, hmm. is there any point playing Reno? Probably not. Just in case he does play Alex Straza, I don't want I don't want to give the Alex Straza any value. Our hero power basically offsets the damage from this guy anyways. I'm glad I didn't queue mage into this. This would have been really bad with mage. Six cards left. We're almost there. Almost to the the fatigue game. And we keep in mind that there is a Sylvanas in hand, so we want to save some form of removal against Sylvanas. It's actually pretty useful for us, I think. He actually has spells that he probably doesn't want to give up, whereas we can have Shield Slam. Shield Slam is not really useful for him. Death Lord will fatigue him faster, so we actually want him to be able to kill it. He's got four cards left. Hopefully, it pulls out something like heal bot. I don't know. And we also want it to pull out secrets too. I guess a secret in here. Nope. He's out of secrets. This from Scooby Doo? I'm not sure. Nice. So now he's only got two cards in, in the deck. We're almost there. 
almost home free. We can actually mill the card too, because we can give him a shield slam, which is useless for him. So we can give him shield slam. And then he mills a card. So we have enough to revenge, execute, hit face, and play. Yeah, we have enough to do all that in one turn, so I guess we're okay. We're good to go. As long as he doesn't do any healing right now, we win. Although, no, we don't win, because Lord Walker Cho, um, and his hand is full. That's that's a problem. We actually need to empty out his hand. Like, we need them to actually play stuff from hand in order for us to actually get the bombs to trigger and deal damage. So we need him to empty the hand here. Like, play BGH or something. Uh, Polymorph. Probably just BGH. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to give us any spells. Awesome. GG or not. We basically have to wait until he has 9 cards left. with full bombs will burn. Yeah, bombs won't actually explode with a full hand. Rip Joe. Obviously, if uh, Cho is still alive, then if I did my extended BM like that, like revenge, execute, then I would screw myself over, because then I fill up his hand, and then the bombs don't actually trigger anymore. So we learned a valuable lesson from that priest game. There was a priest game where we uh, we were in fatigue, but his hand was full, and I thought that the bombs would still explode, but then it didn't work. So, easy peasy. Hard-earned star. Yeah, it was a pretty hard-earned star.